So let's take a quick look at how to use Beat 77. I have powered up my unit. I'm using the MIDI cables to get sound from my sound model, the X5DR, and nothing else, just this. So here we have pattern, the num pattern number. I have up to 99 song positions in 93 patterns. So here you have 93 patterns. You can just hold the down button to go very fast through all patterns. One, two, three. Let me just show what I have, what I was playing around with. So, let's take a quick look. I can go left, right, up and down. I can go to the beat. You can check the cursor change from the area you are. Uh, here I have the track. I have 14 tracks. Each track can have its own note number. 14 tracks plus two synth tracks. The synth tracks, uh, each step can have its own note number. And I have two accent tracks. So I can go on each track and select which note is going to output. The names here are for general MIDI. And if I go again, I'm going to go on another page where I can select the MIDI channel for each track. So I can have different MIDI channels for each track. And I can go on another page again, select the speed mode for this pattern. And I also have on another page the sync mode. If I'm going to be a slave or a master on the MIDI sync, so I can uh, uh, follow a MIDI sync from another device or make another device follow my MIDI synchronization. It sends MIDI timing. And I can also go to other modes. We are currently on pattern mode. I can go to song mode and file mode. I just hit shift and it's going to go to that mode. But let's stick for the pattern mode right now. I'm going to quickly show what the shift button can do. If you press and release very quickly, it's going to change from the 16 patterns to the 132 steps patterns. Let me show a quick example of this. Let me go back to 160 and I'm going to exit the hi-hats. So I have the hi-hats here. 